Hey everyone, welcome back to Let's Go Design. Last time we worked on a chair that would float inside the ultimate office environment versus being attached to the floor. This time around we're going to explore that concept with two new ideas. So what we're going to see today are these two new design directions. One is a mobile type setup, the other is a gantry. I also have a buddy of mine dropping by the studio and he's going to weigh in on these two designs as well. We're also going to analyze both these concepts using SolidWorks simulation before we decide which one we really want to build. There's a lot to do, so let's get started. Okay, now here's the original design in SolidWorks. The first thing I want to do is add the multiple monitors because that's what you guys voted on, so let's do that first. All right, let's drop in the three monitors first, see how they look. Okay, very cool. There's been some posts online already with concerns over being attached to a post, and I totally agree. I mean, one thing Mark had mentioned was not being able to access all parts of the office. This setup would restrict us to a circle, but I, I like that it floats, so maybe we could try a couple other options. You know, let's try holding the chair from above this time. This first setup is, is like a mobile with counterweights. We get the same floating features with better access to the rest of the office. A second way to go would be to use a gantry that we know could handle the weight and can also access the entire footprint of the office. Both are cool to think about, but let's do an analysis to help us decide which is best. All right, we're at the perfect stage in this design for a sanity check. I've got my buddy Steven here, fellow engineer. Hey, Jeremy, how you doing? I'm good, Steven, how you doing? I'm doing good, thanks. Okay, we've got to build the ultimate office chair. First thing I want to run by you is we're going to float off the ground. Two approaches from above, one would be probably to a fixed beam with like a mobile setup with counterweights. That allows me access to other parts of the office. Mm -hmm. This choice would be, you know, we're all familiar with gantries lets me move around the space really effortlessly. I, I, I like this one a lot. But I want your thoughts on the two before I go forward. Okay, so the first, my first thought is it's, uh, it's a really cool design to start floating around my office, and I'd quite happily have one in mind. <laughs> um, Engineering-wise, my thoughts are with this mobile is that you've got some, maybe some long arms here. You're going to have a lot of load going through all these joints. There's a danger of lock-up. As you go to the extremes, it might not reach the way you want it to reach. Uh, that's not an issue with this gantry crane. Um, as we know, they can take a lot of load. But if your design is like your sketch, maybe you've over-engineered it, because these I-beams, they're going to be hefty, they're going to be heavy. Um, so two, two very different designs. <laughs> Yeah, honestly, it would be great to build both these designs and see which one we like better, but I don't have the time or the budget to build them both. Yeah, I think what we can do is we can get uh, motion to actually move these parts in, inside of SOLIDWORKS. We can then calculate the loads, put those loads into uh, simulation, do our stress analysis, look at the factor of safety of each of these parts, and that's going to tell you which one's safe, mm. most of all. Okay. All right, let's start with the first concept, the okay. counterweighted mobile. Right, so uh, let's fire up uh, motion and uh, let's get going. First question, what sort of load is my chair going to take? How heavy is the guy or the girl? I'd say a minimum of 300 pounds based on what people have been saying to me. So the 300, we can put it straight on here. Yep. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a couple of motors in here to actually get the range of motion. The pin, the, at least the top pin, the second pin as well? I think I'll actually lock that one down because okay. we don't. the guy's going to get dizzy yeah. spinning around too much. Okay. So let's just drive this through. and. Uh, there you go. That's job done. Hit run. <laughs> Don't have to modify any of this stuff. That easy as that. Oh, no man. problems. Remember how we used to do this in the old days? Yeah. Would you imagine doing board. this? With... <laughs> <laughs> a lot of math. You, would, you wouldn't want to do it. You no. really wouldn't. And then let's use the power of the computer to get you the answers you want. And now we can start looking at those areas of concern. You know, when I spoke before, we had to worry about the, the top pin and the, and, the, and the other pin. Once you've got those forces in there, you can see we've actually got some considerable loads going in here. And take that across to simulation. And you can see here another few seconds of work, and we've got our results. And we can see... Right there, right at the base of that pin that, problem. That pin where we thought we were going to get some lockup all the time. And your factor That's of safety. That's just where the... Yeah, look at the factor of safety here. Already yeah. below one. With the factor of safety of less than one, you know you're going to have trouble. Yeah. You've got to work to get this design to work in the real world. Let's check out the other kind. Let's see what the other guy does. All right. Same thing again. Gantry. Yep. Don't yeah. have to modify it. Just have to add a motor, or actually no, no motor in this case. Just well, we'll gravity pushing gravity down. Gravity pushing down, and then we'll drive those trolleys with a motor. Stress and once again, move. we can actually pick up the loads on those two end sides. And you can see here that actually we've now got oh, a yeah. nice balanced yep. force. 
Okay, it's going to be a little different because the chair's moving, but it's that you're, you're, already, below. you're already feeling a lot happier the about other, this yeah. design already. Yeah. Now, this time I'm going to do a little bit different here. We can actually look at our stresses inside the motion as well. So we're going to actually pick the part that we're it interested in. It shows up in. in the assembly. It shows up in the assembly so you can actually see where you're going. Nice. We can actually uh, pick up the results that we want and then factor safety. I think we can see here that the factor <laughs> safety is maybe a tad high. Yeah. It's telling you, as we thought before, we're majorly over strength. Okay, we've got a lot of, lot of weight in there that we can maybe take out and a lot of uh, cost we can take out your design as well. You've got a lot of wiggle room, as I'd call yeah. it, in this design. Yeah. You can actually really hone it and, and optimise it. That would be the one I would want to sit in. You too? So, yeah, I think uh, the gantry is the way to go. Okay. So what colour do you want? <laughs> I'll have to build a couple of these. You want one, right? Uh, gold plated, please. Gold plated. <laughs> the cost just went up. All right, now that we know that the gantry is the way to go, the next thing we want to do is build walls around the environment. All right, here are the walls of the office. No more cube or box look. I went with the advice of Albert in this case, who suggested we try a hexagon design. I really like it. It would even look cool positioned with other office pods of the same shape. It's functional, it's modular, and hexagons stacked together end up making a honeycomb. It's prototype time. Hey, what's up, brother? You should tell me. Uh, I would just figure a few things out here. So we got some work to do. What we got? We got to build a weldment. When do you want it? Yesterday. <laughs> There's a big surprise. <laughs> All right, cool. All right, well, these guys get started building. I've got a fun engineering thing for you guys to start thinking about. If you were going to build this weldment, would you use steel or would you use aluminum? I'm going to upload some files to the site. You can play around with it in the simulation and see actually what is the better choice for us. Also keep your comments coming and we'll go from here. The guys and I were looking at the plans and it looks like we're building a floating chair with no legs, is that right? <laughs> That's right. We're gonna float. That's it. Really? Really. Okay. This is gonna work. It's okay. gonna work. A floating chair? Yeah. I bet you 20 bucks that thing crashes and burns. Do I want in on that? All right, that's it for this episode. Next time around, we'll be back in the shop. We're going to check the progress of the chassis build. Then we're going to turn our focus to the chair, making sure it's ergonomic and comfortable. We're getting close. I heard you guys were making bets. 